<laughs> Hello, I'm a fellow non-believer. A non-believer for reasons you wouldn't even believe. You believe in things, just that... I believe in some things. But I do know that I slowly stopped believing in the whole religion thing before I even understood the facts that stood out. Proof right here. In the last year, I just found out the whole contradiction bef between story and evolution. He was uh, blessed to have not been raised strict Catholic or... At a bad high school. So. And not educated in <laughs> uh, creationism. <laughs> but before that, it never felt right to me. I, I need facts. I need to see things. I like science shows. I like stats and facts. I just like to be informed and, and showed and understand. That's why I'm not a big UFO person. I'm not a big holiday person or dressing Big up person <laughs> or anything like that unless I see it so some of us out there don't just hate because we we think this and that and dinosaur bones or whatever just some of us just don't believe period deep down but still got lots of respect for everybody that does and he's a great person and a great person but I don't like the idea of living forever I don't like the idea of, of one, one man creating it all it would make me sleep better if the Bible would have said in, in the beginning the big, the big Bang came and the gravity and the universe expanded and he created the planets and then asteroids and the belt and the orbits and decided the gravity and everything else and were that you, would have made sense. Was she gonna say something about not wanting to live for infinity? Not wanting to live for infinity? Who wants to not who wants to live for infinity? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Try to censor a bigger lie. Try the validity of a city in the sky where everybody died is now living. That's... It's not heaven, that's a fucking morgue. And who's that from? That's a cemetery. That's a... That's actually an excerpt from a song, DZK. Bow Down. He makes a lot of good points in there. I just wanted to make sure you didn't plagiarize. Yeah. <laughs> you know, including, you know... You know... What kind, what kind of creator would, would deem you equal? And lead you in a sea of deceivers and treat you lethal, like change your mind and affect free will. I don't know. That's all I really have to say. I'm not really much of a hater or anything like that. I wouldn't say atheist, but. He's just been exposed to a recovering Catholic, um, who, by the way, has done nothing to um, really attempt to change his mind um, I'm about the exact opposite of a Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. The other one. I'm I'm sick of a, I'm sick of a civilization that blames this fictional basis such as Satan sick to my stomach. Um, well, since <clears> we're <throat> quoting, I promise we're gonna get serious soon. Um, Carlin, <laughs> he's got ten things that you absolutely cannot do, or you're gonna go to this horrible place. And I'm totally paraphrasing. So, there's the list of ten things, and you can't do any of them, or you go to this horrible, horrible place, and you burn forever, but he loves you. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I actually have answered a few of your questions quite extensively in um, some recent videos, and I don't like to be redundant, so... Um, I hope you don't mind just watching those. Um, and I'll touch on um, the other subjects um, that I didn't cover. Um, yeah. Um, one I did do on it, I quoted Bill Maher. So I'll give some personal examples of harm that religion does. And... I'm even going to stay away from other religions, you know, I could easily point out, the, you know, the Middle East and all that, and I don't know anything about that, really, of what they think, so I'm just going to point out what I see. I see hypocrites everywhere. I see Gandhi saying, I like your Christ, I do not like your Christians, they are so unlike your Christ. Um, I've been seeing that since I can remember, um, in this horrible, dark, danky 
building with these people who were, oh gosh, I'm going to go on forever. Um, anyways, I have just, I wish, I've seen some good Christians, I admit that. I just wish y'all would live like Christ. And that is an answer to one question I thought, but actually your other question, is it the religion or the people? And by far, it's the corrupt, greedy uh, people who have been running the show since before the Dark Ages. Um, we all know why they're called the Dark Ages. Um, I hope you do. Anyways, um, they're corrupt. They took a beautiful message from if this person was an actual person, um, a great political activist um, in modern terms who was put to death um, upside down on a cru crucified upside down because he was rebelling against the evil Romans and the corrupt Jewish officials and I think we should celebrate that uh, that's great um, people who go around and say they love Jesus and then do things that Jesus wouldn't do um, that support politicians that don't want, or not, they don't even have to support the politicians that don't want health care. They don't want universal health care for everybody. They don't want higher taxes to help the poor. They don't even want to buy their next door neighbor's kid a toy, you know? But isn't that what Jesus wanted in the mythology? He wanted to feed and clothe the poor. Um, he would want to educate them nowadays. Um, in healthcare, that's a no-brainer. Uh, and they're out there. I'm sorry. Yep, I'm going on again. Anyways, I was trying not to be too redundant. Anyways, so I think the last thing I'll end with is I believe. Um, you asked um, exactly what do we believe all I know is that I don't know I think I said that already but I believe that oh gosh I am not anywhere near a genius in all this so you'll have to bear with me but basically we are all energy and we've been slowed down to a vibration that's created matter we're basically all one and we live out this life, we call it, but in the end we are all just the same matter, the same oneness. And I'm not going to my grave swearing on a um, energy book that that's true. That's just how I feel, and you know what? I live by the golden rule, and I am a good Samaritan, and I think Sodom and Gomorrah is just detestable. So, I don't really give a crap. <laughs> okay, and if you really find fault with that, um, I'm sorry. I hope you're enlightened soon. Have a good one. And oh, yeah, you're, please watch my other videos. Um, I answered your other questions very thoroughly.